hey hello friends today we see about how to do sum by rows in power apps okay without delegation warning let's go and see you can see here is a uh, in previous session we create the timesheet application i will give one brief info about timesheet application okay what the, basically does this application okay this tracks the record means how much time is spended and the record okay now what we have to do we have to take the sum of this time means 4 5 6 and we have to display in this column okay total time you can see the calculation of uh, 4 6 and 5 is uh, near around 15 here it is displaying without delegation warning how uh, to achieve this type of scenario i will show you to do the sum okay here i will show step wise okay what we are done here okay this is our first formula okay in this first formula we get delegation warning you can see here the delegation warning is uh, displaying okay what we are doing the basically okay first we ca uh, filter our data in time sheet data with the employee id and taking sum on the basis of title column okay if uh, this uh, rows in uh, filter time sheet data employee id if uh, not matches with anyone and it is zero then the value we get zero and display here with zero okay if uh, rows are greater than zero then we get the value of some filter and time sheet data with employee id and title is our the number column means how much hours the time is filled okay we show you that also time sheet data we go and title is a number column okay in our by using this function okay it is given delegation one if we go replace the time sheet data with collection then we uh, remove the delegation okay but this is a not correct way okay by using this we get correct value but if record is go beyond the 2000 then it uh, this formula gives us a error okay the correct way to do this okay this is last way is correct way to do the calculation okay what basically uh, we added here okay we use here add column function okay in time sheet data added add employee id one column and matches with it <coughs> we take value of that values in employee id and filter that data with this employee id dot hrm id and taking the sum of that all filtered data in title column and displaying in our text label you can see here that's all about skype okay we can do here also similar thing let's we go let's copy this same similar we can paste this here now it's correct you can see without delegation we get achieve the same result okay this is the correct way to do the sum that's all about guys okay if you have some doubts you can ask me questions in comment you can see now we get a correct value total time in our column